today, Mom? Well, it's because this is the last weekend. You know that. Yeah, right. Say hi to my friends at the orphanage. Sure, I'll do that. Now, you'd better hurry or you'll be late for school. Go ahead now. Okay. Alone. Hey, don't you know that real good friends are supposed uh, to share all their food? Hey, Stan. Right? I finished testing this. Let's go now. Let's try some other food. Yeah, all right. that I'm weak, too. So the other kids are teasing you again, huh? Cheer up, Joey. You're one of the hardest working students in the entire class. You know that. What's the use of working hard in class anyway? If you're still a weakling, that's what I'd like to know. I'll always be a friend. Really? You mean you don't care if I'm not as popular as the others? I don't care about that. Aren't you ashamed of being seen with me? Aren't you afraid the others will laugh at you or something like that? Why should I care what some short-sighted adults think? Friendship, that's what the most important thing there is. Thanks. Gloria, I'll take your words to heart. From now on, I'll work real hard.
Hi, Mom. I'm home. Oh, hello, dear. Is something wrong? No, nothing. But you seem so upset. It's nothing, Mom. Why are you working here, anyway? The maid didn't come to work today. Oh. Joey, I'm sorry I haven't been taking good care of you. It's my job, do you understand? You see, I really have to work hard at what I'm doing. I know, Mom. It doesn't matter. I know those children at the orphanage really do need you. They don't have real moms of their own. I don't mind sharing your love with them. It's okay. Yeah. Joey, you're the one I really love. Hey, did you see me beat yeah, Sammy? Yeah, sure I God. did. Hey, you were great. Hey, walk straight. Yeah. Oh, that anyway, was great. Saying, you know. <laughs> hey, exactly. What do you think you're doing? Come on. What? Can't you stop taking advantage of others just because you're stronger? Huh. What's it to you? Here, take it. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah? Joey, don't you care what he's doing? I'm okay. Well, I think you should care about it all. I have to tell you, I'm surprised at your attitude. The least you could do is fight back just a little. Don't let him scare you. Oh, yeah? Why shouldn't he be scared? I'm a scary guy. Nobody's ever beaten me. Yeah. Gag me with a spoon. Yeah, hey, remember that big guy, Howie? Wow, he's unbelievably tough. Oh, yeah, man. yeah, but you let him have it, you did. Yeah, yeah. I blasted him in the chops, and you were there, right? That's right. right. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> he went down. There's no yeah. one can stand up Stanley, to me. Stanley, you're number one. Yeah. yeah. Well, exploits in battle are not a sign of masculinity. Oh, yeah. We're not impressed at all with your stories of bullying others. That's right. You're wrong. I wasn't bullying. He's the one who challenged me first. Yeah. And I suppose wow. that we're supposed to be impressed with that hero, huh? Forget yeah. it. Someday someone's going to teach him a lesson here. Oh, that's right. Hey, 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 I think you should share what you got with the two of us. Understand? Hey, what are you doing? I'm the Robin Hood of the area. Huh? But you can't do that. Oh, yeah? Well, we'll see what we can and can't do. Come on, give me hey, that. Hey, no! Hey, oh, oh, hey, oh, you oh, can't oh, do that! Oh, oh, get away! Oh, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hold on! I'm not a superman. I'm just an ordinary man who has chosen to develop his skills to a degree where they can be of use to myself and for the good of others. Wow. Wow. Joey! Uh, I look like he knew you. Who is he? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I think he's the master down at the Taekwondo gym. Yeah, that's it. Oh, well, that explains it. No wonder he's such a good fighter and a nice guy. <laughs> oh, God, he's so unusual. And it's such a pleasure to watch him move, really, isn't it? Where'd he go? Huh? My God. Do you really want to learn Taekwondo? 
Yeah. Absolutely not. I won't have you learn kickboxing. But there's no point in going to school, especially when I get bullied all the time. No matter what, schoolwork comes first. Mom. No means no, and that's that. No more kickboxing. The matter is settled, do you understand? <laughs> wow, I'm telling you, if I run into those two bullies again, boy, they've had it. Wait till they get a taste of my kicks. Whoa, yeah. I'll let them have it right. Yeah, right. Whoa, <laughs> that's why they so well chest. yesterday. And it's a good thing that those guys came. And, and the good thing, too, that the master came. Yeah. Otherwise... <laughs> You'd be oh, dead. Yeah, that's right. It's quite gross. Hey, Joey. Uh, I gotta go exercise. Do my homework for me, will you? All right? How yeah. about it? <laughs> Mine what? too, okay? <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. All right. <sighs> Now, straighten your legs and straighten your arms. Right. Now, keep your shoulders in line. Got it? Yeah. And you, watch your posture, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Hello. Right. Squat down. Hi, how are you? Uh, hello, Please hello. sit. Take a seat. So, it's nice to see you again. What can I do for you? We came here to say thank you for your help in the park the other day. Oh, you came to say thank you. How'd you find me? Well, my mother's restaurant is right near here. I've seen you before when I've passed by before. So what's your name then? I'm Joey Kong. Hmm. And I bet she's your good friend. Yeah. Joey, you look a little weak to me. Why don't you learn Taekwondo with me? I'd like to, but my mother. Your mother what? She says I can't learn it. It's because my father, he died in the ring, see? Oh, God. So long. Bye-bye. Oh, Bye, kids. See you. Bye. Joey Kerr. Three years ago, I opened my little gym. It's a gym for kids. It means a lot to me. I owe a lot to Brother Kerr. I'll never forget him. But what's the point of dwelling in the past? I'm living just for Joey now. Well, how's he doing in school then? All right. He's doing well. He did a good job. He's a good kid. Yes. He's a good boy. But he's weak, and that worries me. He's picky at his food like his father. But Brother Kung was so strong and healthy. He did do a lot of exercise. Hmm. Let Joey learn Taekwondo. Joey? Taekwondo? Yeah. No, never. Don't you understand how I feel about this? No more like father, like son. 
I can't lose Joey as well. I understand. But you do have to consider that Taekwondo is a tradition of the family. Mother Kern would want him to learn. Taekwondo, please give me your consent. Okay. <laughs> when I become a famous photographer, you'll be a famous little model. But not as famous as the king of kickboxers, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. hey. oh, hey. Oh, hey. Well, did you get the protection fees? Especially the outstanding ones from the gym and the restaurant. Not yet. That guy at the gym, he deserves a good lesson. That's for sure. And as for the bitch at the restaurant, well, we gotta talk to her. Get that money. When you talk to her, just talk sweet and easy to her, all right? Hmm. What she really needs is some loving from a man like me. Hmm. Anyway, you take care of business. All right. So, tell me how's business, huh? Why have you come here to see me? Good, you get right to the point. I like that, it shows good character. Let's not beat around the bush. Let's speak frankly. Go right ahead. My buddies tell me that you won't pay full protection. If I were you, I would. Reconsider their offer. I don't need anyone's protection. That's final. Hey, Judy, who do you think those big bruisers are? Huh? I don't know, but they don't look too nice. Well, you know as well as I do that in this life, nothing is ever final. And the operative word here is life. 
It's just a law of nature. Some are predators and some are prey. And we're here to protect you. Don't blackmail me. Of course not. We just want your cooperation. Come on. It's easy. Just pay what's owing to us. It's just extortion, plain and simple. And I won't pay you. Then you can have it your way. You better think over your decision very carefully. We shall meet again. Let's go. What do you want? Why'd you call me out? Are you gonna cooperate or what? I'll have nothing to do with you guys. That's my final word. You've asked for it. Get him! Brother Kern would want him to learn. the finer things in life, yeah. Huh, a real man shouldn't be hanging out with the girls. You're all right for short periods of time, but that's about all. You think you're a real tough man, don't you? Hey, I know I'm a real tough guy. Otherwise, you wouldn't always ask me to leave you alone, would you? If you exercised your mind, you'd find life more enjoyable. You do my homework yet, Joey? Yeah. Joey, are you still doing his homework for him? Hey. Huh, a friend in need is a friend indeed. Right, right huh? yeah, absolutely right. <laughs> Stanley, if you keep on doing that, I'm just going to have to tell the teacher. Gloria, I don't know how much longer I can stand your bullying. Gloria, why is he always on Joey's side? Why don't you look at my side? I'm not such a terrible guy once you get to know me a little. Huh, oh yeah? Joey's much nicer than you are. You're just a big fat loser. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mm. Well, all I can say to you, Joey, is you better watch out. Yeah, watch out. Oh, come on, guys. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, come on. Those guys are just jerks. <laughs>
don't you practice kickboxing? You should follow your father's tradition. He's the king of kickboxing. Some people say photography's not good enough for his son. Well, I'm not cut out for that kind of life. I hate to see blood. I hate all blood sports. My father's the king of kickboxing, but they also call him Tichai the Madman. I don't want to kill or get killed or anything like that in the ring. Well, he's your father, but he's my hero. He's always the one to win. The day he loses will be the day he backs out of the ring. You know, last week, I read an article in a magazine. It was about some fighters who were being controlled by the gangs. Kickboxing has become some sort of gambling and no longer purely sport. Maybe Pichai is one of the exceptions. What do you think? Yeah, well, maybe that's so. But you know, my mother and I are tired of waiting to see if he'll live or die every match. We want him to quit and be a good husband and father. Chinese proverb, I know, teaches us that birds getting tired of flying will return to their nests. I think that applies here. Your father will retire soon. I guess you're right. I hope that you are anyhow. <laughs> but maybe he's been hit in the head too many times to realize when to quit. Don't worry about that, Tom. He's the best there is that's ever been. I heard that he'll be taking part in a multinational contest here in the city soon. Yeah, well, I hate these fights. I hate the organizers. I hate the bloodthirsty fighters. I want peace and love. I want these fights to stop being staged. Hey, but who am I, huh? <laughs> I'm just a lowly photographer. I'm just a lover of pop music. What do I know? I'm telling you, Stella, if I had my way, this would be a different kind of world. Absolutely. Come on. Otter. That's it. Come on. Come on. Put more into it. already? Yeah. Uh, you must be exhausted. Not at all. I didn't pick out my food. I feel really terrific right now. Really? You know what? This weekend, we're going to have our practice outside. Outside? Don't worry. It'll be all right. Master told me that I should let you know. Go then. I'll take a rest now. All right. Go and take a shower. Okay.
nice place is not too far from here. How about if I take you there? Oh, okay. Let's go.
so depressed. <laughs> Things would have been so different if Joey's father was still alive. <laughs> Thanks for coming. It's a great birthday. Show us how grateful you are. Yeah, yeah, Sing yeah. us a song. Go on. Yeah, get on. You know I'm no good at singing. I wouldn't dare try. Hey, Gloria, how about you and I getting together to sing a song together, huh? Oh, well, I'm not used to singing. You better try someone else. Well, how about having a pretend wedding ceremony then? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look there. That girl facing Joey is so charming, wouldn't you say? Yes. Oh, look, he's getting ready to cut the cake. Oh, my God, look at the piece of cake he's cutting. Look at the size. His eyes are bigger than his stomach. Well, I guess that maybe we could help him eat it. Oh, you know I'm going to diet. Oh, so what? Come on. We've got big eyes, too. Oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at this cake. I'm going to eat it all. Hey, about time we came to an agreement. How could I come to an agreement with a snake? Now it's time for you and your boys to get out of here, unless you want to commit suicide. So go, get out now. Get him! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh.
Bailey taught him a lesson. You were number one. All right, Joey. Yeah. Yeah. Darling, are you okay? Mm. Joey, I'd like you to know how proud I am of you. Thanks a lot. <laughs> You're number one in my book. You're okay. <laughs> Jim has to beat you up again. Not only that, there are also some kids there as well. Kids? You were defeated by a bunch of kids? You should be ashamed of yourself, really. So why did you bother to come back alive? You should have gone straight to hell. But he's good. He's incredibly fast. That's nonsense. Take some extra guys with you and go back. Then see that the bastard is done away with once and for all. Yes, sir. Why have you given up photography? Oh, I'm upset. There are a lot of rumors about my father floating around. But what about your exam? Oh, school is boring. It's boring because you don't pay attention. I don't pay attention because it's boring. Well, I always thought that they were interesting. Yeah, well, not for me. Well, that's no reason to give it up. Yeah, well, I've lost interest in lessons, in kickboxing, and photography. What do you plan to do then? I'll become a Buddhist monk. Okay, cool down. My father is praised for beating people. It just isn't right. And so, I am extremely excited to announce to you our acceptance to participate in the forthcoming free fighting contest. And I'm extremely honored to announce tonight that our delicate fighter will be Pitch Eye, the madman. His recent performance in our kickboxing ring was so overwhelming that he's applauded globally. He has already had five straight knockouts in this year alone. And we have full confidence in Mr. Pitch Eye that he will be bringing back his sixth as a gesture of gratitude for the wonderful support that every one of you who is present here on this occasion has been and will be offering to our friend and hero. Let me also take this occasion to mention that the delegations that will be sent here from all around the world, well, needless to say that they'll be the very best that each country has to offer. Despite the recent bank runs we have experienced in this city, most financial observers contend that the importance of the city as a world financial center will not be shattered at all. Another news item that is arousing a tremendous amount of attention is the forthcoming fighting contest, known as Full Contact or Free Fighting. While the organizers are busy receiving many contestants from all over the globe, there are rumors starting to emerge that the contests are, in fact, being staged as elaborate televised gambling vehicles. Although there is at this time no conclusive evidence to prove this, the station will broadcast developments as they happen. That's all from us tonight. Thank you for watching. Can I help you? I want to go on the air. We have rules here and channels to go through if you want that. I'm the son of Peach Eye. I have something to say. About what? I want to expose the gangs that are behind the contest. Sit down. Well, it's like this. I hate these bloody fights. 
I don't want my father to take part. For God's sake, I hope the organizers will cancel the contests. At least the station shouldn't broadcast. But that's up to our advertisers. Right. I can't stop father. I can't stop the organizers. Everyone has someone behind them. Is there no integrity left in life? Son of a bitch from the gym who's behind in his payments. Yes. My friend, I do hope that you will take a little time to reflect on your position. It would be so much simpler if you just paid us. Your defined manner won't get you anywhere. I'm afraid we'll have to get tough. Will you correct your attitude? Nothing you do can make me untrue to my principles. And nothing can lead me astray from the path of honor. So that's your decision, is it? Mm. Well, we'll just have to make you sing a new tune. Mm. must practice to develop not only their bodies, but also their minds. Practice only for the good of others. You must learn to tell good from bad and live a righteous life. Do you understand? Mm.
treat a nice girl like that, and you know what he said. He said he doesn't know any nice girls. Now, does that mean all hell? But then he says he's sorry. He gives me a diamond ring. You see a little sweetheart or what? Oh, you know how he is. He's a real funny. Yeah, okay. Anyway, uh, so maybe we can talk later on the phone, all right? Yeah, we'll keep in touch then. Okay, you have a good day. Bye. Once again, of well, this we can be certain, because he's invincible. This has been proven time and time again. So, gentlemen, pitch eyes victory. Yeah. Yeah.
should go home. But can't I stay and help you? All right. All right. You can. Here, here, here. Drink, drink, drink. Huh? Oh. So then, you've decided to join our celebration. I would like to introduce you to... Louis, sir. Louis will be making sure you feel at home. And since the two of you are fighters, I'm sure you feel most at home fighting. You are looking for a challenge, I would imagine. I would be accused of being an uncouth host if I didn't give you the chance to fight. Lads. Mm -hmm. yeah.
fought well. Joey, I'm all right now. You better go home. But I cannot leave my master alone. I can't. That's right. I never thought you'd turn to be such a noble and just young man. It's easy. I just learned from my master. Good. I appreciate it. Now do me a favor. Get me something, will you, Joey? What? Get me a newspaper. can only report the facts. We can't report anything just on presumption. An individual cannot just make his own remarks, give his own commentary. It doesn't work that way, I'm sorry. You're just another puppet, aren't you, huh? It's my job, And with right? your job, you've lost yourself. You can't say that to me. I can say what I want. I'm a free man with no one behind me. I have no one to tell me what to do. And I know the difference between right and wrong. At least I can live with my conscience. How about you? Call me an idealist, but I know what I want. All I want is a little bit of justice. Is that too much to ask? One day when you get older, you'll understand. We can't just do as we like in society. There are rules. There are rules for everyone, okay? I don't care. Hey, I only want the love of my father. He's been away for so long. Is it too much to ask? I want him to give up this life of risking being killed. I've got no sense of security. And neither does my mother. I understand how you feel. Then stop the contest. That's the only way you can help. Don't just sweet talk. I want action, you understand? Action! Chai that did this. The murderer. The one. The one who killed Brother Kern. I'll never forget that. You know, he's here. Yes, I know he is. Contact contest. Ah. Uh, full contact contest. You sure he'll be there? Yes. He's up to no good. Right. You know, if only I hadn't been injured, I would take part in that contest and teach him a final lesson. Don't you ever tell Joey that Pitchard killed his father? Don't worry, I won't. I wouldn't want to disturb him.
teach them the power of Type 1 Go. Now I know what makes people want revenge. Hey, wait a minute. I've got an idea. We're all good fighters, isn't that right? And so if we just stick together, then we'll be invincible. Yeah, good idea. Oh. Huh? Okay. Let's do it. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Bitter. Hey, well, what about my life? Forget philosophy. What's gonna happen soon? I see blood and pain, but it's a process of metamorphosis. Fresh blood brings forth new life. You mean a new life for us? God forbids us to tell a person's destiny. Time will tell all. You will see. Ah, all this working out. Sure makes me tired. Oh, <laughs> 
play. Now we have Taekwondo versus Karate. The Taekwondo fighter is Joey Kerr. He told reporters that he is here to show the merits of Taekwondo. Let's hope he does well. Yes, absolutely sure. He lied to me. He said he was going on a field trip with his class. He's actually fighting blood sport with the professionals in the ring. He's so young. I hope nothing goes wrong with him. I just don't know what to do about him. And my Stanley is there with him as well. I'm so terribly worried. We must stop them. What can we do? Yeah, you're right. It is very dangerous. We must stop them all. And stop them right now. That peach eye is a bad man. All right, help me out. Well, the final is coming up right now. That's right. It's Taekwondo Joey Kern versus Thai boxing peach eye. <laughs> yeah!
in like that. Go, attack in the interval, attack.
straight away. Yes, sir. Hustle, hustle. Get the IV going. All right, you're perfect. Okay. Move it, move it. Move it. Wheel him. Yeah, you're all meant to me. 